My name is Katori. I'm a member of the Coeltecan tribe, and this is my story. I was born in 1710, 10 years before Mission San Jose was founded. I used to live in a small hut along the San Antonio River with my mother and tribe. As Coeltecan Indians, we spent most of our time hunting and gathering. I was very happy with my life at this time. Every day was easy and uncomplicated. Things changed, however, when enemy tribes such as Comanche, Tonkawa, Hasinis, and Lipan in Apache came along, desiring more power and territory. I was scared for my life and that of my mother, so I decided that our only choice to survive was to live in a mission, even if it meant giving up our freedom and traditions. I was scared of leaving behind everything I knew in exchange for a place that walked away from the rest of the world. Once we were there, however, I was amazed by the great architectural wonders of the mission. It was extremely different from anything that I had ever seen before. I could have never imagined a village being this big or verdant in my life. Its great defensive walls were thicker than my entire body. In addition to this, I could not even believe that so many individuals were capable of residing in a single place. There were literally hundreds of natives, many from my tribe and others from distinct tribes, seeking protection from neighboring tribes and white men in Mission San Jose. In this community of priests, soldiers, and Indians, everyone seemed happy and satisfied with their lives. There were not many complaints, even though the missionaries had power over us since they administered the mission. Instead, I found them to be very passive people who did everything to make us feel comfortable and secure. They taught us how to speak their native language, which is Spanish, and how to act proper. Most importantly, the Franciscan missionaries converted us to Catholics. At first, I did not accept their idea that we were souls that ought to be saved in their spiritual conquest across the Americas. But after realizing that these individuals willing to offer so much assistance through technology, security, and the promise of abundant food by bringing livestock and planting a constant food supply, I decided that I had to give Catholicism a chance. By doing so, my life completely changed. The church was no longer a place that I disliked when I, as when I first entered the mission. I stopped believing in my tribal gods and started to believe in their god, in Jesus and the Holy Spirit and everything that they taught us. Every time that I entered into this sacred place now, I felt a sense of respect and serenity that I didn't feel before. Moving into Mission San Jose certainly changed everything in my life. Besides feeling safe and fulfilled, I also felt content because the fact that we were locked in this place did not mean that we did not have any fun at all. There were several evening activities, such as musicians playing and choirs singing, that I loved. What I loved most about these activities was the fact that women got to dance around in these colorful dresses to the music. We felt free. After getting used to the transition, I really enjoyed everything that Mission San Jose had to offer us. Undoubtedly, this place, the Mission San Jose, was more than just a beautiful mission. It was a place that I could truly call home.